hello and welcome friends so in this video we are going to see how to deploy your uh, simple simple spring boot application on heroku so how to do that one i have one application which have two routing and uh, on the blank routing we'll get one string welcome to my youtube channel and uh, this one uh, on when we call get test details so we'll get a list of the topics from uh, like uh, some uh, static data so the controller is here heroku test application dot java is the main function from where application will get start and uh, test dot java is my uh, class where i have some properties uh, already defined and setters and getters and uh, uh, resource dot file application dot property in that uh, i have just defined my server dot port uh, so while deploying the heroku uh, you need to define your application dot properties file okay so now come to the this uh, running application and i will just say get test details so i will get the my test details defined uh, on the controller okay so we need to deploy this uh, application on uh, on heroku before that we need to put this application on your uh, github repository so i'm going to use this heroku test app repository for this uh, demo so i'm on the git uh, status you need to open your uh, command prompt if you do not have installed the git so install it first and uh, check this one and uh, so i have already uh, done that git in it to initialize git here and let me do some changes so that uh, we'll have some changes uh, in the get status to commit that code so i will say here uh, slash code okay and uh, here i will say get status and uh, we'll get some file got changes here how controller.java got change so we need to say get uh, add dot and uh, then git commit we need to use hyphen m yt okay and then we need to add uh, this one uh, remote origin so like this this one is my existing application so i will get uh, error so let me check that also so already exists so it is already mapped to my folder and i am just going to push the master uh, this repository to my master so just push this repository to the master it will ask for your credential of the github you need to provide here so here my code got pushed on the github after deploying on the github you need to check that uh, code has been deployed successfully here so i'm just refreshing i'm just refreshing this page so we'll get updated uh, so updated one minute ago so now like uh, my code has been uh, updated uh, in the repository so just come to the heroku if you are new user to the heroku you need to create uh, you need to register on the heroku and uh, after that you will get a dashboard like this so you need to go on new and create a new application so if you see the src has been updated four minutes ago and uh, come to the heroku and uh, create a app of your uh, app name crud not crud hello yt so if the name is available it will say your name is the available then create an app choose the reason so after this you will get uh, something like a tab like this and uh, on the deploy tab you need to go and uh, connect with uh, github you can use the heroku git uh, uh, use the heroku cli you can do that also but i'm going to here with the uh, github repository directly without using command line so connect to the github if you are new user then you need to add your uh, github account here and after that uh, you need to search your repository here it will go on the github and search for the repository so i will just say connect heroku test app it will uh, take all the code from 
github and uh, just uh, give you the option like automatic deploy or you want the manual deploy so automatic deploy is like that whenever the master get updated it will it will deploy automatically and uh, if you want manual deploy so you need to click on the, that button deploy branch of the like uh, master branch you need to deploy here so it will identify the requirement project java app detected and here it will download all the maven file required to our application and it will create the build for us once the build has been complete then uh, we'll get a view link for this so launching and uh, this deployed to Heroku at this location so down and click on the view and side by side you can also view the logs of the application go on the more tab and click on view logs so whatever is the we have printed on the console we will we'll see here and if you see here like uh, initializing spring dispatcher servlet initializing servlet dispatcher servlet and here tomcat started on port this so we no need to uh, specify port it will automatically detect the uh, identify port, uh, port for us and like welcome message we are getting here welcome to my channel and uh, here i will say get test detail so i will get the list defined in the controller on the front end in the json format so like this we have done and if you see this data is also getting printed on the console so this one is the log is uh, some for the Heroku router and some for our web app so that's why we are getting the multiple logs here and uh, yeah so like this we need to deploy the simple spring boot application on the Heroku and if you have any doubt any question then please put in the comment section I will definitely reply on that and in next video we are going to see how to deploy a CRUD application of the Spring Boot on the Heroku. So please subscribe to my channel friends. Thank you so much.